in health news this morning. So maybe you're not pregnant yet, but you are considering starting a family and maybe worried about potential genetic risks. Spectrum Health Medical Group's preconception genetic counseling can help you understand those potential risk factors for a future pregnancy. And joining me this morning is Katie, a certified genetics counselor. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Thanks How for having you? me. I'm well, great, thanks. I'm How are you're you? Here. Happy Friday. Yes. Preconception genetics counseling. I think the name says it all, but, <laughs> but why don't you explain exactly what that is? Right. So what it is is when an individual or a couple has concerns about conditions that may be running in their family and before getting pregnant they just want to learn a little bit more about what that could mean for them in a future pregnancy. Again this is information they would use to find out if they are carriers or like a screening almost. Um, sometimes it's screening so okay. we will talk about different genetic conditions that um, two couples can be carriers and they could have an affected child um, and sometimes we talk about things like birth defects too. So mm. we have couples that say uh, my cousin had a child with a really serious heart defect is that something that could happen to me should okay. I be aware of that. Okay. So th that would be who typically comes into the, one of these appointments, somebody who may have heard of something that runs in the family? Yeah, that's pretty common, but we'll also see the other side of things too. So some people, for example, who've been adopted and have no family history, sure. they want to know things that maybe they should be thinking about too. Absolutely. Now, you said it was preconception. What if I'm already, pre not me personally, <laughs> but what if I'm a viewer who is already <laughs> pregnant? Can I still come in for one of these, uh, these tests? These can this genetic test? Absolutely. We will see you pretty much at any stage. Um, if you're already pregnant, we usually have you seen in what's called a maternal fetal medicine clinic um, before you go in for one of your ultrasounds. Okay. Um, so it's in a different location, but you'll get the same information. And what can they expect when they come in? Am I getting poked with needles? Am I getting blood drawn? Or is it just we're going to sit around a desk and, and talk about stuff? Or? We do a lot of talking. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we'll do is um, ask you a lot of questions. We want to learn a little bit about you, your health, your family, um, and then we'll give you a little bit of information based on on what you report to us, we can say these are things that you might be thinking about. These are tests that might be available to give you more information. So if it's possible, you want to have that information when you come into that meeting? If possible, start yeah. calling your mom, dad, cousins, get as much information as you can. Find that uncle who loves Ancestry.com. He probably, yes, know, he probably knows one. some stuff, right? <laughs> exactly. Now there, of course, are thousands of mutations. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you know which tests to get? Because, I mean, there are many, many genes and many mutations. I mean, you couldn't have yeah. that many tests. We can test for everything, that's right. for sure. Um, the human body has over 20,000 genes in it. We don't even know what they all do at this point. Um, so what we have done, though, is we've picked out certain conditions that are just more common in the general population, and we talk to you about what some of those are, what your chances are, and then, as you said before, we can do screening, some general looks at your, uh, your genetic information to pick out some of the most common genetic mutations. And some of those, obviously, can be based on uh, family background and ethnicity yep. as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, And all yep. those, okay. Now, the accuracy of the test. Now, my, my wife and I went through some of this when we were going conceiving our, mm -hmm. our daughter. And false po we heard the term false positive and false negative. And of yes. course, we're like, ah. Oh. So the percentage of the accuracy of these genetic tests it totally depends on the test that you're having, and mm -hmm. that's part of our job is to help you understand that. When you get a result, what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. How reassuring is that, or how concerning is that test actually going to be? Absolutely. And then uh, the question that everyone always, I'm sure you get asked this probably every day, is my insurance going to cover this? Because yes. you, you look at the cost of some of these tests and you think, well, I really love that information. Can I afford it? Absolutely. And that's also a big part of our job is we work with your insurance company to try and figure out what's covered. Some insurances would like there to be what's called a prior authorization beforehand. And and we help you obtain that. Um, we can also work with some of our labs um, if your insurance doesn't cover it to see if they can work with you a little bit to get a price that's comfortable for you. And what do you find that people are doing with this information once you give it to them? Is it just a peace of mind thing or? It totally depends on the couple. We see all sorts of things. Um, some individuals are very reassured and they end up doing absolutely nothing with this information. Um, other people decide to do things like go and see one of those high-risk doctors in the pregnancy so they can get a little bit more accurate ultrasound or in the pregnancy they may choose to do more testing at that point once they have more information. All right, well, if you're watching right now and you're interested in learning more about possible risk factors in genetic testing, how can we get a hold of you? Um, so you would need a referral to our office. Okay. That can come from any medical professional, so your regular doctor, your OB, um, and they can send a referral over to the Spectrum Health Medical Genetics Clinic. Excellent, Katie. Thank you. We've got a full screen up right there that has some more information, how you can learn about possible risk factors before pregnancy. It's uh, helpful. Uh, information that, obviously, once you become pregnant, information becomes vital. The more information <laughs> you can get, the better, right? That's, that's how what we think. That's what most people <laughs> Feel. Give them a call, 616-391-2700. Thank you again, Katie. Thank you.